Hello everybody, so on the quest to make in freeform injection molding the perfect concept for everything we've now started introducing uh, features that allow us to do perfectly smooth surfaces. Um, that's usually a challenge when you talk about additive because, well, we do tend to build up things in layers. But uh, by clever use of uh, metal plates um, we can get to a situation where what the material sees looks remarkably like a conventional injection mold tool. And the best thing is, it even works. So that's what you get by combining 3D printed tooling, in this case it's also solvable, with conventional metal elements. Okay, so this uh, metal plated tool uh, is used in the standard freeform injection molding process. We put it into the injection molder, in this case a paper blast. We inject, in this case uh, polypropylene, which is uh, recycled, by the way, uh, because we like to use recycled materials. And then, of course, we leave stuff to cool down for a little while before it's ejected. We usually operate with about 30 seconds of cooling time to make sure that nobody burns their fingers when stuff comes out of the molder. So, here we go. And, well, we use indicators to check that things are filled, in this case they are. And now to the, 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 the funny thing. Ta-da! Magic. And now, the interesting part is what we do with this. And that goes into a specific solvent. The yellow stuff goes away. And in a day or two, I'll be able to show you what the actual part looks like. So stay tuned.